I'm going to tell you what to do if you encounter a bear. I'm Dan and welcome to Backpacking Adventures where we talk about backpacking, hiking, and gear. If you're new to this channel and those interest you, consider subscribing and make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Today we're going to talk about what to do when you encounter a bear in the backcountry. Face it, bears are out there with you. You're in their home. They're probably all around you and you don't even know it. In most cases, they'll see you long before you even know they're there. In dealing with bears, you deal with black bears differently than you do with a grizzly. But first, you want to be able to tell the difference between a black bear and a grizzly bear. Black bears are black, hence the name, but they can come in a dark brown color. They have no hump, their ears are taller and longer, and the profile of their faces looks straight. Grizzlies are usually lighter color, usually brown. Grizzlies do have a hump on their shoulder, and the profile of their face is this shape. So make sure before you go on a trip, you know if you're in black bear country or grizzly country. For black bears, the best thing you can do is prevent an encounter. One thing you can do is just make noise. You can sing, you can talk loudly, or make other noises. Every once in a while, you can even just yell out, hey bear. This will let black bears in the area know that you're in the area and they'll do everything they can to avoid you. In addition, they're not gonna be surprised. You're not gonna walk around a corner of the trail and come face to face with a bear. You can also wear something called bear bells. They're just basically bells you attach to the outside of your backpack and as you walk, they'll make noise. If you do come across a black bear, don't panic. First thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna run. Running will trigger their hunting instinct and they may think you're prey. You also don't ever look them directly in the eyes. They will take that as a challenge. You also wanna make yourself look bigger. Hold up your hands, hold up your trekking poles. Try to make yourself look larger than you really are. You then just wanna yell at the bear. Yell out, hey bear, or something, just to scare them away. One thing black bears may do is what is called a bluff charge. A bluff charge is if they run at you huffing and puffing to try to scare you. If you are hiking and you come across a black bear cub, you wanna stop and look for the mother. Black bears are very protective of their cubs, so you wanna make sure you don't get in between the cubs and the mother. If they're blocking your path, slowly back away the same way you came. But remember, don't turn your back on them. In the rare event that a black bear does attack you, you don't play dead. If attacked by a black bear, you wanna fight back with everything you got. But again, attacks are very rare. An additional precaution you could take is taking bear spray with you. If you take bear spray with you, make sure it's easily accessible and that you know how to use it. For the most part, black bears don't wanna have anything to do with you. So just take precautions, be careful, and you won't have a problem. Now let's talk about grizzly bears. I've never hiked in grizzly territory, but I have done a lot of research on it. Personally, if I was hiking in grizzly country, I would always, always have bear spray with me and ready to use. For the most part, you wanna do the same as you would with a black bear in trying to prevent an encounter. You wanna make noise. You do not want that grizzly bear to be surprised that you're in their area. Just like with the black bears, if you encounter one, you don't wanna run. You want to try to just back away slowly and don't turn your back. If the grizzly bear attacks you, this is where you wanna play dead. Best thing to do is to get on your hands and knees, curl up in a ball, and place your hands behind your head to protect your neck. If you have your backpack on, leave it on. It could provide some additional protection. Try not to move at all. It may swat at you, it may bite you. Just try to stay calm and not move. Continue playing dead until the bear leaves you alone. Again, with black bears and grizzly bears, the best thing you can do is prevention. Pay attention to your surroundings, make noise and just let them know you're there. Tell me if you would be scared or excited if you came across a bear in the backcountry in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time and go explore.